I think uh, the anti-dumping duty on glass imports from China went away about a year ago. And in the period since, uh, the Chinese dumping of solar glass has uh, expanded substantially. Uh, and now I think the Chinese control more than 80% of the Indian market for solar glass. Uh, in, in a level playing field situation, uh, I think Borosil Renewables is more than competitive with the Chinese companies. And our cost of production are uh, very, very competitive uh, with the world cost of production. However, we are here competing with uh, government subsidies, uh, state uh, enterprises who are delivering subsidies for exports, as well as capital subsidies, uh, operational expense subsidies, and it's very uh, almost impossible for us to compete uh, with, uh, with those subsidies. Uh, so it's very important for some kind of level playing field, and only if that were to come back in the country would we as Borosil have the ability to further grow our production. Well, uh, I, I am hopeful uh, that some kind of protection comes in, some kind of policy protection, because without that, uh, it would not be possible for any uh, production, further in enhancement of production in the country, for solar glass at least. Uh, I can tell you that uh, the, uh, the, we ha ourselves have shelved our expansion plans uh, for the foreseeable future till we get some clarity on uh, duties, just because uh, at the moment the costs uh, or the the Chinese are exporting products below cost of production, and how they are doing it uh, is, a, is a big question. And um, like I said, unless there's a level playing field, uh, we don't see any further expansion of any Indian uh, glass capacity happening. Well, I would not say we're dominating the market at all, because like I said already, the Chinese are dominating the market with more than 80% of the market share. Um, when the duties were in place, uh, we expanded our production from 180 tons per day to now 1,000 tons per day. In addition to Borosil Renewables, uh, there are at least five other producers of solar glass that have announced capacity and uh, in, the, in that period. And out of those five, three have already started uh, production and we expect the other two to start in the next six to 12 months. So this means that the duties that were in place actually have uh, not only helped us uh, commit a lot of capex for expansion, but also other players. So uh, I would say that the policy was favorable for the whole industry as a whole. Um, and that having gone away, it is going to hurt the whole industry as a whole. Um, so that is the fact on the ground. Now, going forward, we'll have to see uh, you know, what, what happens uh, in terms of policy certainty as uh, glass is a highly capex, a very high capex uh, driven uh, industry, uh, the capex to turnover ratio is less than one, which means for every 100 rupees of capex that we do, the turnover is maybe 80, 85 rupees per annum. So therefore, uh, you need to have policy certainty for a long period of time because the glass plants have a payback of minimum seven years. And only then, if you see policy certainty for that period of time, would somebody uh, commit further capital. So uh, we did, uh, we bought a German company which makes solar glass. It's the only solar glass producer in the European Union. Uh, that we already uh, have invested some money to expand uh, the capacity uh, to about 350 tons per day, which is about two and a half gigawatts. Uh, per annum, and uh, that is mainly for sale in the in the European um, industry, uh, and uh, we are also waiting for policy certainty because just like India, there's a lot of dumping uh, of Chinese products into the European Union and uh, Europe uh, to the extent where uh, the products coming into Europe from China are lower than the bomb cost of the uh, of the materials. So your the European Parliament has taken cognizance of this and uh, they will probably take some, uh, you know, countermeasures to protect the local ecosystem. Uh, we are waiting and watching. Uh, I think something is expected in the next few weeks. And once that is clear, we'll take a further call on expansion in Europe as well. Uh, at the moment, we have, as I already mentioned, we have shelved our capacity expansion plan. So at the moment, we have nothing in the works. 
Yeah, I think at the moment uh, we are about 30% of our Indian production is being exported uh, to various countries and really that is the only thing that is uh, allowing us to survive uh, because uh, that, that is at a higher and a better price point compared to the uh, domestic uh, you know, glass uh, that we sell um, and we would hope to increase the share in the future. Yeah, I think, look, as far as the Indian uh, manufacturing ecosystem is concerned, it is really a, a very good moment in time uh, with the proper policy support uh, to really grow the Indian manufacturing ecosystem substantially. India can be a hub for export for the rest of the world. India has friendly relations from a geopolitical point of view with the whole world. Um, and therefore, we hope that uh, we are able to uh, capitalize on that. And uh, I, I think if few small uh, further decisions are taken uh, in that extent, India should be an export hub for the rest of the world uh, as a counter to you know, other uh, countries.